Welcome everyone to famed Sanford City in between the hedges in Athens, Georgia, home to the Bulldogs and 90,000 of their closest friends. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number seven team of the country, the Tennessee Volunteers. Taking on the second-ranked team, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Bulldogs will kick this deep to get us going. So it'll be a touchback, ball spotted at the 25. So Tennessee's offense comes on the field first today. Well, Kirk, you can just feel the emotion, the intensity of this rivalry game right now. Well, one thing we know is you work year-round for a rivalry game, and now it's right before your eyes. Let's see how these guys play today. The junior were able to bring him down quickly. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Back to pass. It's Ayamaleva. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And it's complete downfield. Stopped out at the 39, but good enough for a first down. Boy, a great throw and a first down for Tennessee, and they are in business. This quarterback is playing well, and, you know, Chris, they are able to recruit the nation when it comes to quarterback play because of the history and tradition they have. Started really with Peyton Manning, but has worked its way through. Think about T. Martin, won the national title in 98. Hendon Hooker, what he did a few years ago. Go back to Josh Dobbs. Boy, they had some great quarterbacks that have played here. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game that you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. Bakes the handoff, looking to throw. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders in this defense. Well, if you're going to be able to play in the SEC and be a dominant team, you have to have defensive linemen like this right here. And we've seen that from Georgia over the years. They've been incredibly blessed to have defensive linemen that can hold up against the run, also have the ability to do this right here, which is pressure the quarterback and come up with those sacks. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And the tackle is made. The defense was ready for that screen. They stop him short of the first down. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. The Volunteers will line up to punt it away. On the return, it's Evans. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. So Georgia's offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. If there's one guy on this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher. Very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket. And also, he's going to have an awareness of exactly where... Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. That's the 20. Inside the 10. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Dogs. Wow, that is an impressive start, Kirk. In an emotional game like this, to be so efficient, to click like that early, is impressive. Well, it's very impressive and a great way to start for this team because all the buildup and all the hype, now you can just settle in and play your game. Kicking team out for the PAT try. PAT is good. They jump in front, 7 0. Here's 
Here's the kickoff team now set to boot this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Selden. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. The ball has come to the line to run the hurry up. To the air, it's Ayamaleva. Running back has it on the screen now. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. Now the defense is getting pressure on the quarterback. They got a little bit fooled here by the screenplay. Nice positive game for the offense. Third down upcoming after that completion. They'll try to run for the first down. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. And they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look out. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. It didn't take long to reach the end zone last time. A perfectly blocked running play. And they keep it going here. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Any good offense has to have a reliable, quick to intermediate passing game. Even though that wasn't enough for the first down, it's plays like this that help you sustain drives and not get stuck with third down and long. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's ETN. And they get him down after the completion. Are we going to see a repeat? Remember last time these teams played, it got ugly. Chris, that's one of those games you just hate to see in a rivalry game when it gets so one-sided. Hoping today to see this defense play much better. That completion sets up a third down play. Scanning the field, it's back. A throw to the running back in the flat. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. Hey, I don't blame the defense here at all, Chris, for bringing the blitz. It's third down and short. You got to get pressure on the quarterback, but you got to tip your cap to this quarterback. I think he was anticipating the blitz, so he's able to get the ball out of his hands quickly and pick up the first down. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. Caught over the middle. It's Young. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent game. Great play call by the offensive coordinator. Outstanding job of executing by the quarterback. With the defense trying to stop the run, the quarterback felt that. Made a nice throw to the receiver. Look at this result. Some positive yards. Here's the second down play. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Tackle made at the 21, but this offense is in great position to add more points. Ooh, how about that offensive line? That's just getting a hat on a hat, opening just enough room for the back to be able to get through there for a big game. The Dogs pick up enough yardage to get a fresh set of downs. And at first down, they go right back to him. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. The dog's looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Looking for his big tight end. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. 
Well, the call was sort of predictable, Kirk, but that tight end is just so tough to stop down here in the red zone. Listen, speaking on behalf of all quarterbacks, you get down into the red zone, you're looking for that big target that you can trust. He's going to run a good route, and he's got a big wingspan to allow you to make a throw up into the air. He can go up and make a catch over most defenders. Really good execution. They come up with six. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And with the PAT, they take a 14-0 lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Tackle made on the play at the 29-yard line. They bring him down, but the freshman quarterback showing off the arm strength. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. On the ground, it's Samson. Zero running room. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. You've got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. And the Vols will crank up the tempo. He'll hand it off. A quick juke. Brought down, but broke a tackle to produce a solid gain there. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. But that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. Crucial third down play right here. To throw, it's Ayamaleva. Quick completion to the tight end. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. Fresh set of downs for the offense after that first down completion. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Just a small gain, looking at second and nine. Well, another short gain for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. And as we reach the end of one, the lead is starting to mount. Let's take a quick look at the first quarter stats before we move on. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. They'll run it from the gun. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. About time this offense gets going, it's a first and ten. Takes the handoff. It's Samson. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Hey, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. We'll give it to the back. That's a nice wrap-up there by the junior. Well, the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. 
eighth play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Grab down the middle, it's Samson. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Now there's just nothing here for the quarterback to do other than throw it to his back and hope that he could get the yards after the catch, enough for the first down. But the defense gives some yards, but not enough for him to get to the sticks. And the volunteers bring their punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. And he boots it out of bounds, not very long. And the punt goes out of bounds. The officials now will mark the spot. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Solid run. Moves the ball out across the 20 to the 21. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Offense getting set. It's second down. To throw, it's back. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Defensive play brings up a fourth down. How about the call here? They go with the screen on third down and short. You don't see that call very often. They're not able to even complete the pass, so no chance at a conversion. So we got fourth and short. The dogs will bring their punt team on the field now. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And he'll be forced out of bounds after a small pickup on that return. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. Stop after a small gain. Now looking at second and nine. The Volunteers looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Looking to pass here on second down. Caught over the middle. It's McCoy. And the defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and get some positive yards. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. And this offense picks up the first down. They tackle him at the 44. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. The ball is lining up here on first and ten. Going to run it. It's Samson. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example. The defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. To throw, it's Ayamaleva. And he's got it. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Volunteers. This quarterback on fire today. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown.
See if they can convert the point after. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. Defense finally brings him down, but a nice chunk play. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw. And that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett, who won back-to-back -back national championships. And what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint inside the 10. Touchdown, Georgia. Just ran away from the defense. What a well-designed play here by this offense to get the ball to the gifted tight end. Of course, he's got the size, but here he shows you the speed that he has in outrunning the secondary into the end zone for a big touchdown. And now they'll set up for the point after. PHC is good. They're pulling ahead now, 21-7. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Bringing it out, it's Selden. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. The Volunteers looking to use the up-tempo offense here. Back to throw. It's Ayamaleva. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. The offense recovers the fumble. The offensive staff just took a collective sigh of relief. But I'd still anticipate that someone's going to pull that ball carrier aside, give them a couple choice words on the importance of ball security. And this crowd coming to life here trying to help the defense get a stop. The offense pinned back. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Able to get the pass away, but took a hit that time. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, well, you really allow this defense to dictate things. And it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. They'll kick it away here. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Looks to the left for a quick throw. He makes the grab. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Well, you wonder if the receiver adjusted his route to get closer to that first down line. Whatever he did, it works. Move the sticks. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. Caught in the backfield. It's Young. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. 
That'll put him over 150 yards today, Kirk. He is putting on a show on this big stage. How great is this? On this stage, as you mentioned, Chris, just playing his best game. He's been in sync with his receivers. Back there, has time to throw. Just having a dream performance. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Looking to pass. It's back. Running back grabs it on a screen. And they'll bring him down. The defense fought through the blocks, and they stop him short of the first down. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. Short completion there. Second down coming up. Looking to throw again. Finds his man. It's ETN. They tackle him at the three, but that's a great gain in the pitch and catch. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. And when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. And the Bulldogs come to the line with first and goal. On first down, it's play action. Nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. Offense recovers the fumble, maintains possession. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks have got to do a better job of having awareness and taking care of the football. Felt like he got the ball away from his body there a little bit, allowing it to be knocked free. He caught a break because one of his own teammates was able to see that and get on top of the ball. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. Offense facing second and goal. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. And it's caught! Touchdown, Dogs! Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, it makes it pretty simple. All he had to do was get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff. We'll see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. Dumps a short throw down to the running back. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Now the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Looking to throw. It's Ayamaleva. He's running out of time here. On the junior gets home, making a sack there. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth. They can't convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Pressure coming, and they've got him again. And now the defense will call a timeout here. There's something they didn't like about that look, and they'll make an adjustment before this important play. The balls will line up to punt it away. Oh, and he's got some space here. And the coverage team able to bring him down. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. Grab down the middle. It's ETN. And they wrap him up, but the game is good enough for a first down. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. 
The offense spends their final time out of the half here to talk strategy. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. First down, looking to throw the ball. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. So after the incompletion, it's second down. And he drops back in the gun. And now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. Defense recovers the fumble. Big takeaway. Oh, and he's in the clear down the left side. Can they catch him? Touchdown, balls. The defense adds six points. That's a scoop and score. Defense making a monster play there. Well, his eyes must have gotten so big when he saw that ball pop out, chance to pounce on it, and instead of doing it the more conservative way and just falling on it, he decides to take it to the house for a touchdown, something he'll remember for the rest of his career. Here's the point after attempt. The extra point is good. Still a two-touchdown deficit, 28-14. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. Return begins inside the 10. And the returner is tackled as time expires here in the first half. The minute is going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game-changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football that said let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest And the Vols will kick this away to begin the second half. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Trying to build in a positive first half for this offense to see if they can stretch the lead. There's some urgency on the part of the defense to stop the bleeding here. Catch made by the tight end. Five-yard gain, so it's second and five. Well, this is why running the football was so important. You run the ball, and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. Getting set. Here's second down. Looking to pass. It's back. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty brings up third down. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Catch made on the out route. Well, this is a great catch. He does a nice job of getting his feet down to set up a fourth down in short situation. But, man, I just don't know why he didn't try to fight to get to that marker and pick up a first down. The Bulldogs will have to kick it away when he comes for his second punt of the game. Fair catch is made, but there is a flag down, so let's sort this one out. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. 
The offense gets a second chance of points here after that special teams roughing penalty. Play action here on first down. Airing this one out toward the sideline. He's got it near the end zone. And he's in. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And momentum really building. Now, Kirk, this one could get out of hand here in a hurry. And that's the last thing you want to do in a rivalry game. Not just lose the game, but get embarrassed. Man, you got to fight for 60 minutes. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? The back's got it. Solid game there. Moves the ball out to the 32. Just a great play by the running back here. Finding his lanes and then exploding through the gap when it opened up. And the Volunteers come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Off the play fake on first down. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. Second down now after the sack. And the back gets the football. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yardage yet. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid gain. Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Looking downfield, it's Ayamaleva. And he's going to float this one to the right side. The pass is intercepted. Big takeaway, now looking for a big return. Finally able to take him down, but that's a great return after the pick. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. This has been a dominant performance so far. Up double digits at the break, building on the lead here in the second half. He hands it off from the gun. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, there you go, defense. Listen, it's not been a great day for these guys, but this time they stepped up and took out some of that frustration. Nice play. Important second down play coming up. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. That sack sets up a third down play. And the quarterback dropping back. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. 
Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. Kick goes out of bounds. They'll spot the ball near the 20-yard line. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. They start the drive with a quick throw to the left side. Tackle made after a big gain. Well, move the sticks for a first down for this Tennessee offense. And this quarterback is really starting to throw the ball well, putting the ball in the money, and giving these receivers a chance to make plays after the catch. And I tell you, they've had some great quarterbacks, as we know, that have played in their time in Knoxville. The Volunteers come up to the line in a hurry-up. Dropping back, it's Ayamaleva. Pressure is coming. Quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. Well, it's so easy to get caught up on the receivers and the quarterback, and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. Offense right to the line, playing with tempo now. On first and ten, looking to throw. Makes the catch downfield. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. The ball is starting a new series here on first and ten. Snags with a quick throw. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. The Volunteers are going to take advantage of this red zone trip. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. It's an out route. The catch made. And the defense smothers him for no gain. This defense reminds me of a group that just is all about preparation. They are completely dialed in on this play. Yeah, they give up the completion, but how about that? Nowhere to go after the catch. Offense now operating in the red zone, facing a third and short from the 20. Looking to throw yet again. Grab behind the line. It's Samson. Well executed. He finds space and gets the first down yardage. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. First and ten now for the offense. An inside give now from the shotgun. Been a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Takes the handoff again. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Well, I feel like they call that knowing. Chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Here we go, third down, close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. Oh, almost intercepted in the end zone. An opportunity missed. But it does bring up a fourth down here. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points.
So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. He'll return it from inside the five. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. Caught behind the line. It's ETN. And he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. That completion sets up a second down play. It's a shotgun run call. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, that's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. So a very makeable third down for the offense with a 29. Back to throw. It's Beck. Fires it to the wideout. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk played for this offense through the air. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Caught over the middle. It's Young. He makes the tackle, but he gains enough to make the first down in what should be the last play of the third quarter. And it's been an old-school ground game duel. These running backs have been putting on a show so far today. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. Well, it's a great job by this defense coming up with a big sack there on first and goal. The offense still has their opportunities. Let's see if they can get back on track here on second and goal. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the seven. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Tight end makes the grab. Tackle after the catch, but the ball moves to the four-yard line. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Game moves the ball to the four. It's third down and goal. Dropping back. It's back. Bringing pressure. Has no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. Interesting call here, Chris, to throw the ball on third and short. Unable to come up with the first down. Now here at fourth down, you got a big decision to make. Do you kick the field goal just to add to the lead? Or maybe go for this here with a chance to drop the hammer? So here comes the kicking team on the field. They'll settle for three. This is going to be a 21-yard chip shot. The field goal is good. And they add to their lead. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after building this big lead, they're set to kick it off. Return starts from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. 
Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Makes the grab. It's Brazil. That's good for a first down near the 40. The freshman quarterback showing what a cannon he's got. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Hadn't been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. The balls will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. Handoff here from the shotgun. And he's tackled just short of the midfield line at the 49. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here, and he's a good back. But I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. The offense going with the hurry up. Motion now from the tight end. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. He's brought down, but a solid gain moves the ball across midfield to the 41. Well, depending on the temperament of the head coach, he's either turning to the bench and screaming, where in the heck was that all game? Or maybe he's just kind of keeping that to himself, thinking, all right, maybe this is something to build on. Maybe something positive can come out of this. You're going to have some bad games from time to time. We'll see how he gets his team ready in the future. But that right there, man, that's what they've been looking for all game. First down, looking to throw the football. He's got it for a big game. They make the tackle, but the game moves the ball to the 28. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air and puts a lot of pressure on this defense. And the Vols have first and 10 here. Scanning the field, it's Ayamaleva. Let's it go quickly. Finds a man downfield. That's a big gain to the right. They make the tackle, but it sets the offense up for a first and goal from the 10. And the volunteers will line up here on first down and goal. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. The ball is loose. Now the defense has got it going the other way. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnover. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. This group has been rolling up double digits at halftime. They've just built on that lead here in the second half. And they stop him short. He avoids the safety, but it won't help much with breathing room down there. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Okay, second and 10 from their own one. This is an important play. They want to avoid a third and long at this spot on the field. They'll run it here. The running back has the ball. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Well, I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. Backed up on third down. Let's see what the call is. They need some breathing room for the punter at the very least. They're going to run it. That's a good effort on the run, but the defense stops him just short of the marker. Fourth down now. The dogs will line up to boot it away. He's on looking for a solid punt here. So from his own end zone, he gets the kick away. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look out. Great cut. They whiff on him. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. And looking to throw now on first down. Makes a quick catch. And the broken tackle there produces a solid gain. 
I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. The Volunteers will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. Looking to throw. It's Ayamaleva. Quick throw. Catch made on the out route. And the ball to the ground. And the ball will bounce out of bounds so they avoid the turnover. Oh, my gosh, Chris. You can almost feel a collective sigh of relief coming from the offensive sideline as that ball rolled out of bounds. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. So after taking a closer look, the officials will overturn that previous ruling. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Fires it to the wide out. But he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. I mean, how about this offense and this execution? That's three plays, three completions in the blink of an eye. And now it's first and goal. The offense threatening close to the goal line with a new set of downs. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Running out of time in the pocket. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Ball back at the 10-yard line now for second and goal. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. And we reach the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. They break the huddle on third and goal. Field goal doesn't do much good here. Dropping back. It's Ayamaleva. The pass rush closing in. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. This defense has been lights out today. Great job once again applying pressure on this quarterback. This poor quarterback, he doesn't know what he has seen today. Not able to get anything going to be able to try to compete in this game. They're down big, and now they're just hoping for that clock to run out. From the shotgun, drops back, looking for an open man. Makes the catch. It's Thornton. No, he didn't get there. Tackled short of the marker. That is a crushing play as they try to cut in to this lead. And they'll keep it on the ground, trying to run some clock. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held him just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. And now the running back's got it again. A change of direction. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. Chris, that's another good run for him. He's had such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. The offense will set up on first and 10. Hand off to the single back. Makes a nice move there. They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. What a shock, right? I mean, this guy once again gets his hands on the football, and great things seems to happen. He's over 120 yards on the day, and it's really been a combination of his vision and speed along with really dominant offensive line play. Georgia setting up with a first and 10 now. And here's the handoff. And a short one there to end the game. 